Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your angel advice oracle card messages for the week of September 18th through the 24th, 2016. We are going to hear from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot and also the Fairy Tarot. Messages from your angels by Doreen Virtue. Messages from the fairies, Doreen Virtue, the mermaids and the dolphins, Doreen Virtue. And also a Wisdom Oracle Chakra card by Tori Hartman. Just a weekly advice card, foundation card for the week. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate it. I absolutely love doing this for you guys. Every morning with the Oracle cards, the monthlies, all of it. It really is my passion and I do love doing it. With that being said, I'm, I am mentioning it, you know, to the other signs and to, to the rest of the signs. I'm going to keep mentioning it. There are people that, that do comment that I cannot respond back to because you're not actually subscribed to the channel. All you're doing is probably just watching the videos. So when you subscribe to not just my channel, but anybody's, anybody's channel, not only do you hit the red subscribe, but you also at the bottom a pop-up box will appear and you have to hit turn on notifications. I don't know why you have to do that, but you do. And that way, when you leave a comment, I could comment back to you fully. I could only see when you're not subscribed only a couple words of your comment like three. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, just a few other things that I was, I needed to, important things that I wanted to tell you guys too, that I definitely have made adjustments to my work schedule so that I absolutely have enough time to get on track and get all of the readings out when I say that I'm going to have them out. You know, the morning worker cards aren't a problem. It's, it's more trying to find a way to get the monthlies in with my work schedule. I mean, I don't know if you've, if you've heard me mention it before, but you know, I do run a, have a house cleaning service. So I do, I am gone, you know, three full days out of seven. Now I will be. Where I could devote, you know, one day to all my private readings and the rest to, you know, the, the monthlies, the love readings, the weekly angel readings, which are going to start like, like the angel readings are, are going to come out every Sunday. They're going to run Sunday to Monday every week. The monthlies are going to come out on the 1st, starting October 1st. And the love monthlies, they are already out for September. They were out on the 12th and the 13th. But from now on, they're going to come out on the 15th. And it's just going to work out better you know I mean for this month with the monthlies you know with my work schedule it, it just was impossible and I do apologize but I just I mean keep in mind I'm only on the channel like 
nine weeks. I just didn't expect it to escalate like this, and I'm, I'm humbled. I mean, the private readings that are coming in have been, I mean, there's a lot, and I, and I absolutely love it. But I'm getting them up. I'm getting them done. And I could add, I mean, if you want a reading with me, you know, the, the link to PayPal is in the About section. And I could definitely have it up within the week. But, um, and definitely, guys, you know, my new subscribers, especially, I like to spontaneously do free readings. That'll also be in the description box, too. You know, all you have to do is just like the page, and every so once in a while, you know, like the, a couple days ago, I got good news that I'm going to be an, a certified angel tarot reader, and I decided to do a free reading on the page. Um, the first 20 people, will never be more than 20 people, the first 20 to, you know, just share the page. Throw their names in a bag. They're getting a full-on reading. 14-card reading. Usually more with clarifiers, but a full-on reading. Okay, so... Aquarius. Sagittarius. Or, yeah. Aquarius. Two of water. Aquarius. Sad, no, sad, sad. I'm trying to think of what sign got had got this same card. It, this card flew out for you guys, too. Virgo, typically the Two of Cups, Cancer. Now keep in mind, during Virtues, Dex are, you know, more of a soft touch. You know, her or Oracle cards are, you know, spiritual based. But overall, the same meanings. I mean, the Two of Cups is the Two of Cups for me. Partnerships. It's it's two people, you know, that are sharing a close relationship. Um, even right now, it could be just, you know, a fine fen a friendship that continues to deepen, a love affair, moving, you know, to new levels of intimacy. There's mutual love, respect, understanding have has developed in this new relationship, if it's a new relationship. You know, in, you know, current relationships, you know, heal, there's healing, you know, if there's been, you know, any confrontation, any arguments, you know, petty stuff, it's all healed. I mean, for me, this card is the soulmate card. You know, for those of you that are thinking about ending a relationship, now is not the time. This is not the week to leave a relationship. You know, if difficulties between people or groups, but whatever it is for you, it definitely come to a positive resolution. Conflicts end. There's, you know, forgiveness is extended. You know, singles, there's their sexual attraction, there's romance, there's kindred spirits, some of you could receive unexpected gifts. You know, there is definitely sexual attraction. Beautiful card. Prince of Autumn. Dependable, protective, clairvoyant, humorous. So, with this card, he is a per person with a plan. Listen, guys, ge this is a general reading, you know. Their gender does not matter. It is whoever it is for you. Typically, Leo and Virgo. But it doesn't have to be. 
Um, Knight at most better known as the Knight of Pentacles. You know, with this card, you know, you don't need to... He's definitely a, a person with a plan. But, you know, sometimes you don't need to rush into action. You know, some of you just might like to have a plan first. And, you know, for some of you, if this is someone new coming into your life, this person definitely has a plan. In a good way. Um, he has everything figured out from A to Z. You know, with, with backup. You know, he's courageous, gallant, trustworthy, kind. He's definitely your protector. He's truly, you know, watching out for, for you in every way. The Prince of Autumn floats softly and gently. You know, he's, he's not someone who's in a hurry to take action. But the light at the end of his staff there, you know, does, does definitely reflects the intellectual brilliance at work inside his mind. You know, so he, he definitely... Is a person with a plan. But I do feel like for some of you this could be um, you know you meeting you you coming in contact with that with that special someone this week. For those of you that are single, you know, for those of you that are already coupled in a relationship, you know, it just requires communication, which there is, that there's love, there's dedication, these, these two are soulmates. Messages from your angel, we have uh, Desiree. And it says, No conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help, guide, and comfort you. So, this is a beautiful card. With this card, you know, for some of you, that you know, there's a reason why you've asked for heaven's opinion. You know, you've prayed about a situation in your heart. You know, for a lot of you, you probably could have, you know, know that something was off or just, you know, maybe not settling right with you. But this, this angel definitely, you know, is an angel that is here to help you with, you know, trust and wisdom within your heart. You know, she's one of your guardian angels. And, you know, your happiness is, is, is. A central mission for heaven, for the universe. You know, the situation is, you know, as it currently stands, it isn't going to bring you joy. 
that you seek. But it does bring you options. There are, are, are there are options that are available. Yeah, I just feel for the week, you know, it, it could be a card of, it's just a card of patience. You know, it's just... You know, the, cert, the situation for the week is, is as it currently, currently stands. You know, which... For some of you, I mean, seems beautiful. Minor conflicts, minor, pe minor petty arguments whether it's at work or in a relationship. You know, j just wait, because the, there, there will certainly be things that are going to improve your outlook. You know, either you will learn more information or because something better will come is going to come along for sure in whatever it is for you okay um Messages from the fairies. Be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. So, with this card, you're most powerful and effective. You know, when you're just your, your genuine, authentic self, with yourself, others, you know, if you continue to pretend to feel, act, or be something other than yourself, you lose awareness of your feelings, you know, which are a, a source of important guidance. You know, you just be yourself. You know, for some of you that, you know, the question that you're asking is be yourself, behave, speak, even dress as you normally would. Don't worry what other people think. You know, by being your true self, you give others the opportunity to love the real you. You know, also with that card, definitely, you know, Trust your feelings. A new relationship improves immensely. You know, but for some of you, you definitely might need to let your guard down. Definitely, you know, trust and follow through on any ideas that you guys may have. Be the true you. That is a beautiful card. Mermaids and the Dolphins. Synchronicity. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. I do love this card. So, with this card, you know, the more that you notice magical events, the more they will occur for you. 
you know, with this card, all of your prayers and manifestation works are, you know, are now attracting synchronistic events. You know, those chance meetings, information that just happens to fall in your lap. Um, you know, those text messages, just information that just drops in your lap. Um, you know, other synchronicities are really answered prayers. With this card, it is a card of, of heaven calling your attention to synchronicity and serendipity happening in your life. And, you know, the more that you notice, the more that they'll occur for you. Um, you know, a lot of you may already feel or know that there's no coincidental or accidental occurrences, but this card does reflect your recent focus on positive thoughts, you know, which are being directed, directed towards your desires. You know, just every time I, I see this card, and it's not often to, you know, I, I always just see this card as, you know, synchronicity. Two people constantly running into each other, bumping into each other. No matter how hard you try to avoid each other, it just happens anyway. Somehow, some way. Something happens that just, you know, brings us together. And whenever that kind of card does sur surface, that's usually is the storyline to it. Okay. Advice card. Perfection. So... With this card. Whatever it is that you're doing. Or you're about to do. How does your perfectionism. Perfectionism. Let me start that. I, for some reason I just can't say that word. I've done a lot of readings today. How does your. Perfectionist. Energy. So, what I said was, what you're doing, or what you're about to do, how does your perfectionist emerge? Definitely you need to watch out for your resistance because it could show up as being picky the desire to change can cause extreme frustration when we hold on to a false front like this card said you know be your true self um You know, there's a value in allowing yourself to be perfectly imperfect, okay? But, you know, what I was saying, you know, when you try to hold on to a false front, you know, you admit your pain. And it will bring you freedom and intimacy. And for this week, that is the foundation. That wait, that is what the message of the week is for that card for you. There's 
a distance between you and your desires. And you may even be putting up your own roadblocks. So this week you do need to take time to just notice any self-sabotage that you could be doing. Because this is pivotal. You know, and it will... help you to explore how to get to the next level of foundation. And, you know, like I just said a couple of seconds ago, you know, that there's value in allowing yourself to be, you know, perfectly imperfect. I mean, you know, the, these two cards go, you know, I mean, it's, it's probably, it's definitely not for all of you. You know, but if it's a new relationship, listen, I have been there. I know. You try to, to be different. I'll just leave it at that. You try to be different. And there's no need to be. There's no need to be. I mean, even this person that you're constantly, sorry about that, you know, bumping into, you know, with those sick, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. Spirit, it must be, really, I must be speaking the truth here. <laughs> I mean, this really, I feel soulmate connection with these two cards. I really do. There's a lot of that going on this week. Definitely check your sun and moon, and, and moon signs this month. You know, we are almost at a retrograde. Thank God. Trying to buy a new PC. Get off the iPad for this. But, um, Guys, yeah, it looks like it should be a fantastic week, really. New love coming in. Relationships. Long, even, you know, long-standing, you know, deeper commitment. Deeper satisfaction. More communication. You know, with this card... You know, I think it's truly stating, you know, in conjunction with this card, you know, those of you that are thinking about ending a relationship this week, th this card is really telling you that the conditions are not good for that. They're, they're, these two really do speak strongly to me for that. Just, just write it out. There's always next week. It's, it's a week. It'll be okay. And those of you that want to meet, meet your soulmate this week, singles, get out there. Be positive. Humorous. You know, be the Prince of Autumn. Okay, Aquarius beautiful message for the week. I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. I hope you guys have a blessed day and a fantastic week. You guys should by the looks of your cards. And I will see you back here with the morning oracle cards. Bye-bye.